welcome back all my share bears today's video is my project sample use up I have been so bad about this oh my gosh I've been so bad so here are the products that I had in here to use up And my goal is to pull 10, one of them being, my goal is 10 samples, and as I use them up, I replace them. So, my samples, one of them has to be a fragrance sampler. So, we'll get started with that. The first one I had in here was a fragrance sampler and I chose a YSL Black Opium. I love this and my battery is going to die. So I'm going to have to change my battery. Hey. Okay, let's try this again. My battery died. The beginning of the video, so. As I was saying, this is the black, YSL Black Opium. There is like one spray in there, which is not enough. So this is done. I do have a full size of it. It is right there <laughs> on my shelf. I do love this fragrance. And it's not a usual fragrance for Bay Love because it's kind of a musky, woodsy scent. I don't know. But I do love it. And I got so many compliments on it when I was wearing it. <clears throat> The next item in here is my Lisa Wattier 3 sample collection. I have used up the one in Caroline, which I really did like. I would consider buying a full size of this one. I did not like Suzanne. I did it once and went no. And I found that this nude color is dry. Like it was just like rubbing a powder on my lips. So I think that that one was too dried out for me to use. So this I am considering done. Good riddance. Um, not my favorite by far. The next thing I had in here was just a sampler size of the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Cleanser with Red Clay. This is done. I actually have a tube of this that I do really enjoy. And I said that when I did my video for this. Next is another base product. This is the Fresh Ultimate Nourishing Honey Mask. I did use this. It's gone as much as it's going to be gone. Um, it's a little too moisturizing for me. Like just a little bit too much. But I did use it up. Uh, it, I found that my skin started to get oilier in those sections. Which means I really didn't need it. It was like too moisturizing for me. I wouldn't buy it obviously maybe once my skin dries out to no end um, the next items are it was a three pack of John Frieda <laughs> they're gross right the John Frieda brilliant brunette shampoo um, this is my shampoo I use but if I was to have tried a sample pack of it I don't know that I would have bought it. I bought it based on the fact that it was Brilliant Brunette. I don't... These... I don't know. They just weren't the same. They didn't seem to have the same consistency. So... I wouldn't base a future product purchase on the sample in this case. Because I didn't like this. Like I used them all. But... The stuff in the bottle is different. I don't know. It it just was. It worked differently than those did. Okay. The other item is an Alterna CC 
10 in 1 leave-in product for your hair. Um, I think the package got thrown out. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it got put into the garbage. Uh, I loved it enough that I got like a little kit that has the Al Caviar Alterna sets and it has a actual tube of it, a little tube. I really do love it and made my hair feel so nice and silky and soft. I just, I loved it. So I would actually consider buying a full size of that product, but it's, I'm on a tight budget right now and I don't need it. So I have enough hair products that I could work through before that and something I would save up for because my hair felt so good. Like, so good. Um, the la next item was the Bifacel Lancome Eye Makeup Remover. It was just a little travel size one. I used this all up. Um, I, I need to tell you, this doesn't work on the Lancome mascaras. <laughs> it works fine on other mascaras. I don't know if it works. No, it didn't work particularly well on Essence Slash Princess either. But I was using uh, the eye primer, the Sil Booster Eye Primer, and the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara over top of it. This wouldn't take it off. It, it wouldn't. It just like smeared it. It didn't take it off, which I think is funny because it is Lancome. It should take it off, right? But, no, it did not. So, I actually own a bigger size of that, and I wouldn't repurchase it. It's not my favorite eye makeup remover. Then I have the Benefit Give Me Real Fiber Gel. This is like dried out. It was like nothing came out when I tried to use it. I, I tried kind of mixing it around and nothing came out so unfortunately I can't give you uh, my thoughts on this because it didn't work. Um, the next item was a benefit do the hula I actually have a note on here do the hula sampler this was really orange on my skin, like really orange, like I washed it off and started over. I did not like this product. I would not get this product. It was, I was afraid it was going to be sh sh too shimmery, but no, it was just straight up orange on my skin. And that might not be the case for some people. That's the case for me. If I draw another one, I think I might have some in my sample. I probably won't use it, so... And the last item was a Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. This is empty as empty as I could get it. I do have this in a full size. So, yes, I do love this. It's wonderful. Like, very wonderful. Now, I could take all these, these out of here. So, first, let's choose a fragrance. Here is my fragrance thing. And some of them are in packages because it's wrote on them what they are. So, I have an Atler Cologne and this is Atelier Cologne. And this is in Orange Sanguine. I do like this. I've had samples of it before. I really do like this. So I'm happy that's in there. And now let's take that out and put that over there. Now, on to my box of samples. So I have to choose nine samples out of here. Nine. So, dig around. Ooh, I have dropped something on the floor. Okay. I have a Murad Eye Lift Firming Treatment. It's a Target and Repair. 
I love Murad products, so I can see me liking that. And then I picked out an Ulta Matte Lip Cream. I got this from Angel from Glamour Gossip with Angel. So that this is going to take me a while. I guarantee that's going to take me a while. Next, I have a Living Proof Prime Style Extender. Locks in your style longer. I've never tried anything from Living Proof, so I'm looking forward to trying that. So that's three. Oh, I have a Nude Detox and it's a brightening fizzy powder wash interesting <laughs> and i have another face mask this is the hey honey detoxifying mud mask i am like Dropping stuff everywhere. Okay. That's my pen. That's okay. <laughs> now I have a Verb Color Safe Cleanse Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. That's great that it's together. So I've got two, four, six. Need three more. <laughs> a bronzer. So this is a Too Faced bronzer. It's a Chocolate Soleil and the Endless Summer bronzer. And a Strivectin Retinol Night Treatment. So one more. I already have that. And a little mascara. This is a Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. So, that's cool. So, all in all, I think I have a lot of skincare in here and hair care. No, I've got a lot of hair care in here. But I will try it. So that's everything for this sample use up. I'm hoping to get through most of these. I'm pretty sure I can get through a few of them. But the lipsticks go take some time. And depending on what these eye products are like, they could take some time too. Because eye products tend to last a long time. So that's everything. Much love and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.